Hello, boys and girls, and happy Tuesday, August the 25th. We are going to continue talking about basic features of print. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started with reviewing what we learned yesterday. Yesterday, I hope this looks familiar because we looked at letters, words, and sentences. So I'm going to point to a group, and I want you to tell me if that group is a group of letters, a group of words, or a group of sentences. What is this group right here? This is a group of letters. Good job. And you'll notice I have arrows pointing to two different kinds of letters. We have capital letters and we have lowercase letters. What is this a group of? This is a group of words. Very good job. So my letters can come together to form words. And lastly, what is this a group of? This is a group of sentences. So my words come together to form sentences. And that is what we learned yesterday. We also looked in a text and talked about letters, words, and sentences in a text. So on this page, I want you to practice pointing. Point to a letter for me. If you pointed to this I, very good job. And then bonus question, is that a capital or lowercase letter? That is a lower, or excuse me, a capital letter. Now I want you to point to a word for me. If you've pointed to a single word like feel or very happy or sometimes, good job, that is a word. Now I want you to take your fin finger and underline the whole sentence. If you went like this, very good job. Multiple words come together to make a sentence and the words are separated by white space. You'll notice my sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. So today we're going to go into something new. We're going to talk about the title of a text, illustrations in a text, and the author and illustrator. So here I have a picture of a text off Raz Kids and my arrow is pointing to big letters across the front of the book. That is called the title. The title of this book is called Feelings. The title of the book is usually going to be in a larger print or big letters across the front of the book, and that's going to kind of give you an idea of what the book is about. So this book title is called Feelings, and we can see by the pictures that I have an idea that this book might be about the boy's different feelings. So now my arrow is pointing to something different. It's pointing to the pictures, and those pictures are also known as illustrations. Everybody say illustration. Very good job. And that word is just a fancy word for pictures in the text. So on the front page, we have a picture or an illustration that also helps us know what the book is going to be about. Now my arrow is pointing to a really, really small print at the bottom of the book. If you'll notice, it says written by. When the book is written by someone, that person is called the author. The author is someone who writes the story or the book. Next, I have the illustrator. Now, you'll notice earlier that we had illustrations, which is the picture. So, the illustrator is the person who creates the illustrations and the pictures. So, an artist, someone who draws or paints the pictures in the story. Next, we're going to open up our book and talk about something called punctuation. If you'll notice, my arrow, you will see that it is pointing to a period. A period is a type of punctuation and it usually comes at the end of our sentences. Now let's talk about the reading direction. We've talked about this in Letterland and it's really important that when we're reading, we are going in the correct direction. So we're gonna start at the very top line and read across the page from left to right. And boys and girls, it's really important that when I get to the end of my sentence or my period, I go right down to the very next line, back to the left, and then across to the right again. I get to the end of that line and I follow the same pattern, going back to the left and across to the right. You'll notice I'm ending with a period which is called punctuation. Now we're gonna work together to label the different parts. Here I have a front cover of a book this book is called Allie and Ollie, and you can see my picture, my illustration here of the dogs, and then some more words down here. 
over here, I have words that I'm going to drag and label beside the correct part. So this first box says illustration. Does anybody see the illustration over here? Remember, illustration is just a fancy word for picture. So if you point into the picture of the dogs, you are correct. I'm going to drag the box that says illustration beside the picture. My next box says title. Where is the title on this slide? If you pointed here to the words Allie and Ollie, you are correct. So let's drag that box beside the title. Very good job. Our last box says author and illustrator. And remember that is who the author is who wrote the story and the illustrator is who created the pictures and the illustrations. Does anybody remember where that's at on the front of the book? If you pointed down here, you are correct. Help me drag this box over there. Very good job. Our next slide, we're going to label some more parts. This first box says label the capital I. Can anybody find a capital I on this page? If you pointed right here to the beginning of the sentence, you are correct. The capital I in the sight word it. Help me drag this box where it goes. Good job. The next thing we're going to try to label is a period. Can everyone point to the period on this page? If you're looking carefully, you will notice that there's two, one here and one here. Let's drag our box to the one right here. Now, lastly, we are going to label where to begin reading. So on this page, think about the reading direction that we talked about and help me decide where would I start reading. If you pointed right here to the word we, you are correct. Let's drag this box to where we would start reading. Very good job. Now let's talk about your assignment for today, Tuesday, August the 25th. You need to go to your ELA pathway and complete slides eight through 10. It will look very similar to what we just did together. When you are done, go to your pathway and drag the check mark to the empty box on your pathway to show me that you have finished. Thanks and see you guys tomorrow.